All right, guys, let's talk job interviews, specifically the online kind. They're becoming the new normal, right? Think of it like this. It's your chance to shine, to show them what you're made of, all from the comfort of your own home. No awkward handshake, no long commute. But here's the thing, nailing an online interview takes practice. You've got to bring the same energy and professionalism as you would in person. So let's break it down step by step and get you ready to crush that interview. First impressions matter, people, even online. Choose a spot that's clean, uncluttered and screams I'm a total professional. Your bedroom? Probably not the best look. Find a neutral wall to use as your backdrop. No posters, no dirty laundry piles. Keep it simple, keep it classy. Now, let's talk about seating. Find a comfy chair that supports good posture. You don't want to be slouching or fidgeting during the interview. Lighting is key, folks. We want to see that smiling face. Natural light is your best friend. Position yourself facing a window if you can. Avoid having the window behind you or you'll end up looking like a shadowy figure. No good natural light, no problem. Use a lamp to brighten up your face. Pro tip warm yellow light is more flattering than harsh white light. And for the love of all that is good, please check your webcam angle. No one wants to be staring up your nose for an hour. Eye level is the sweet spot. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you can rock up in your pyjamas. Dress to impress, my friends. Think business casual, at least from the waist up. A button-down shirt or blouse, a nice sweater, even a blazer if you're feeling fancy. Iron out those wrinkles. Details matter. Avoid wearing distracting patterns or colours. You want the focus to be on you, not your wardrobe. Solid colours are your friend. And hey, even though they can't see your bottom half, no sweatpants allowed. Dressing the part puts you in the right mindset. Trust me on this one. Section five, tech check, don't get caught slipping, technical difficulties, the ultimate interview buzzkill. Let's avoid that, shall we? Imagine being in the middle of delivering your well-prepared answer only to be interrupted by a frozen screen or garbled audio. It's not just frustrating for you, but also for the interviewer. First things first, make sure your internet connection is rock solid. A stable connection is the backbone of any successful video call. Without it, even the best prepared answers can fall flat. Nothing worse than getting cut off mid-sentence. It disrupts the flow of conversation and can make you appear unprofessional. Run a speed test beforehand to be safe. Next up, your webcam. Is it clean? Is it working properly? A smudged or malfunctioning webcam can make you look blurry or out of focus, which is not the impression you want to give. Do a test run with a friend to make sure the video and audio are crystal clear. This step is crucial because it allows you to troubleshoot any issues before the actual interview. And don't forget about your microphone. Clear audio is just as important as clear video. People need to hear those amazing answers you've been prepping. Your voice should come through loud and clear without any distortions or background noise. Use headphones with a built-in mic if you have them. They can significantly improve the quality of your audio by reducing echo and background noise. They help reduce background noise. A quiet environment is essential for maintaining focus and ensuring that your voice is the only thing the interviewer hears. Don't forget about lighting. Good lighting can make a huge difference in how you appear on camera. Natural light is best, but if that's not an option, use a lamp to brighten your face. A well-lit face looks more professional and helps convey your expressions clearly. Lastly, pay attention to your background. A cluttered or messy background can be distracting. Choose a clean, neutral space that keeps the focus on you. A tidy background shows that you are organized and professional. With these tips, you'll be well prepared and confident for your video interview. Remember, preparation is key to making a great impression. So take a deep breath, smile, and go ace that interview. Section six, practice makes perfect prep those answers. This is one of the most crucial steps in your interview preparation journey. All right, let's talk about the interview itself. It's the moment you've been preparing for, and it's essential to go in with confidence and clarity. You know, they're going to ask some common questions, right? Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work here? And what are your career goals? What are your strengths and weaknesses? That kind of thing. These questions are designed to gauge your self-awareness and how well you fit the role. Don't wait until the interview to start formulating your answers. Preparation is key to delivering confident and coherent responses. Write them down, practice them out loud, get comfortable talking about yourself and your experiences. The more you practice, the more natural you'll sound. 
Think about specific examples you can share that highlight your skills and accomplishments. Numbers speak volumes. Quantify your achievements whenever possible. Instead of saying, I'm a hard worker, say in my previous role, I increased sales by 15%. See the difference? Specifics make your answers more compelling. And hey, it's okay to have a cheat sheet handy during the interview. It can be a great tool to keep you on track. Jot down some key points you wanna hit. These can be reminders of your top achievements, key skills, or important questions you want to ask. Just don't rely on it too much. You want to use it as a guide, not a crutch. You want to sound natural and conversational. The goal is to engage with your interviewer, not just recite memorized answers. Practice until you can speak fluidly and confidently. Consider doing mock interviews with a friend or mentor. This can provide valuable feedback and help you refine your answers. Take note of any feedback you receive and make adjustments as needed. This iterative process will help you improve and feel more prepared. You can also record yourself answering questions. Watching the playback can help you identify areas for improvement, such as body language or tone of voice. Remember, confidence comes from preparation. The more you practice, the more confident you'll feel walking into that interview room. Finally, take some time to relax and visualize your success. A calm and positive mindset can make a big difference in your performance. You've got this. With thorough preparation and a confident mindset, you're ready to ace that interview. Good luck. Section 7. Body language speaks volumes. Even though you're not physically in the same room, your body language still matters. A lot. Sit up straight, shoulders back, chin up, good posture conveys confidence. Smile. Let them see your enthusiasm. Use hand gestures naturally, just like you would in a normal conversation. It shows you're engaged and passionate about what you're saying. And for the love of all that is holy, avoid fidgeting. Don't play with your hair, tap your fingers or click your pen. It's distracting and makes you look nervous. Section 8. Eye contact is key. Show you're engaged. Here's a little secret eye contact is actually webcam contact in the online world. When you're talking, look directly at the camera lens, not at the interviewer's face on the screen. It feels weird, I know, but it makes a huge difference. It shows them you're present and listening. When they're talking, it's okay to look at their face on the screen. Just make sure you're still paying attention and not getting distracted by things in the background. Pro tip. Position the interviewer's video window as close to the camera lens as possible. That way it looks like you're making eye contact even when you're glancing at the screen. Setting up your workspace is also crucial. Make sure your background is clean and free of distractions. Good lighting can make a big difference too. Natural light is best, but if that's not an option, use a lamp or ring light to illuminate your face evenly. Don't forget about audio. Clear sound is just as important as clear visuals. Test your microphone and speakers before the call to ensure everything is working properly. Using headphones can help reduce background noise and improve audio quality for both you and the interviewer. Your body language speaks volumes. Sit up straight, maintain good posture, and use hand gestures naturally to emphasize your points. Taking notes can show that you're engaged and interested in the conversation. It also helps you remember key points to bring up later. Smiling and nodding can go a long way in showing that you're engaged and responsive. It creates a positive atmosphere and makes the conversation more enjoyable for both parties. Prepare some questions in advance. This shows that you've done your homework and are genuinely interested in the role and the company. Practice makes perfect. Rehearse your responses to common interview questions in front of a mirror or with a friend to build confidence. Finally, take a deep breath and relax. Being calm and composed will help you come across as confident and professional. And don't forget to end the call on a positive note. A friendly smile and wave can leave a lasting impression. Section 9. Minimize distractions, maximize focus. Let's be real, distractions are everywhere at home. But during your interview, you need to be 100% focused. Silence your phone. Turn off notifications on your computer. Close the door to your room. Let your family know not to interrupt. If you have pets, try to keep them out of the room. The last thing you need is your cat walking across your keyboard mid-interview. Trust me, it happens. And hey, if something unexpected does happen, don't freak out. Just acknowledge it, apologize for the interruption and get back on track. Everyone understands that life happens. Section 10. 
You got this. Listen, I know job interviews can be nerve-wracking, but remember, you've got this. You're talented, you're capable, and you have something valuable to offer. By following these tips and putting in the prep work, you'll be well on your way to acing that online interview and landing your dream job. So go out there, be confident, be yourself, and knock their socks off. I'm rooting for you.